One Owner Car Guy, OneOwnerCarGuy.com, and what I've got here for you today is the interior review of this absolutely beautiful 1997 last year of the square body Lincoln Town car. This is an absolutely beautiful car. I'm going to go around and just kind of show you the paint. I've done an exterior already, but what I want to do here on this one is just kind of show you in a different light um, to where you can see just how straight and clean this car is. 69,000 original miles, which as we all know is nothing for one of these Panther Platform 4.6 town cars. Great car, and I probably said that two, three times already. I'm just going around thinking about this because this is the interior video and I'm doing an exterior. Well, like I say, I just want to show you in a different light and it looks really nice this time of night. It's not really night, just a beautiful sunset type time. And I do that to where the interior shows up and pops for you. And that's that, just absolutely beautiful. It bugs me to have that bins there. It just kind of messes up the side of my picture there. Okay, so. Just beautiful. And I'm gonna just do the interior. And like I'm saying, it's pretty clean in and out. Just absolutely, I want a picture right. Just right there, man. Okay, here we go. Heated mirrors with a little spot mirror on them as well, which is nice to have on a car like this, mind you. Okay beautiful on the door panels and a lot of these older cars like this get this kind of a looks like a discolor there it's usually the um the dust poof, poof, over the years and the sound poof, poof, the stuff gets all old and it kind of poof, poofs it all out of there that's my understanding full options full loaded everything and it all works I keep hoping I'll find a gold coin in here someday. Haven't happened yet. Power mirrors, power locks, power windows, power this, power that, anti-theft, the whole deal. There is no wear on these pedals. The only wear on these pedals is the fact that this guy here has been driving this car here around town. And I'm turning on my phone to where I can get you boop, boop, that. Look at that, just no wear. It's even got the it's got a mat lock like the bin, but it's got the mat locks locking the things. I don't think these are the original pads because there's no mat lock, locky type thing there. Little smudge here and there. Um, no real big stains or nothing. A little bit of fold over on the sides of the seat here. Just starting. Um, no rips or tears or anything. It's in great shape. Everything about this just beautiful. Look at that. Headliner, great shape. Make sure and check my website, oneownercarguy.com, where you'll see all kinds of pictures and everything. Um, let me see, what else? Dash is in great shape. Why did I sound so excited about that? I don't know. Full steering wheel controls on this bad boy. And what have I done? Oh my God, that gave me the, almost gave me a heart attack. I thought I locked myself out of this bad boy. That wouldn't be cool. That would not be a good review. I thought Miss McGrath was in her car, but she's not in there. Oh, she just walked inside. Sorry, got sidetracked. Okay, door panels are great condition. The springy locky catchy. Springy locky catchy. That is not what it's called. But you can see, I think they tried to repair it here or something and it don't. I'd glue that down. But you can get a new one, or a used one on the internet. These back seats don't even look like they've been set in. Squeaky as can be. Back package trays in great shape. Look at these things. I don't even know if they were ever used, man. Look how clean that is. Look how clean that is. Like I say, headliner's in great shape. Moonroof. Moonroof, sunroof combo. I don't know what they're called. Um, I had to carry some stuff back here, so I got a little bit of dust in it, but I think that was there. I'm not going to take blame for that one. Um, six disc CD changer, and it kind of moves on top of here a little bit. 
air suspension switch. This does have the air suspension. Oh, there's your factory. JBL. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if it's a JBL amp or they just called it that code to where everybody would go, Whoa, it's a JBL. <laughs> and I don't know. Oh, there's a bag of tools and everything back there. I don't know if that side over here is supposed to have one of those little things also. If it's supposed to, it don't. Look at this. Great condition up there. Great condition in here. Everywhere. Everywhere is a great condition on this car. Look at that. I don't even think this has been on the road. Jeez. Seems to be some kind of Mitchell and same thing too. That's what's on here. Well, the auto suck down is in great shape. And auto sucks down as it should. Great shape. Just beautiful. I seriously think I'm going to find something in there one day. A straw! That was mine. They were in the front seat and they rolled back there. Tried to get two extra straws at Costco and what happens? A couple little smudges like that. I mean... I didn't use no spot remover or nothing. I didn't shampoo this. This is right from a new car trade-in. It went to the Mercedes-Benz dealer. I showed you any kind of, there's a little ding scratch. I showed you all that in the exterior video, which you want to check out. There'll be a link at the end of this here video. Another one of these things, gold coin. No gold coin. It's in good shape though. Now here, I'm gonna try and do the flip around. Everything's there, including the key code, or the, yeah, key code for the automatic lock. Well, aren't you afraid to show that? If they can guess the other three numbers, they can have it. Ah, uh, this here, it, it has a, whoa, it, wow. Holy smokes. The car's gonna take off. Seriously. I didn't think this worked. It does work. Ha! Huh? Cool! I didn't push on it hard enough. I just kind of, eh, I was like girl about it or something. Oh well, it works. Um, the glove box is nice, but I put my keys to my house and a couple screwdrivers and my power cord in there. Whatever you see in there, and that's all in great shape there. I'm gonna go ahead and Pop the hood, show you under the hood. This is just a beautiful car. That's all there is to say about it. If you're looking for a last year Lincoln, God, I hate smudges. Smudge, unsmudge. There we go. Okay, let me get this here. And yes, the boop -a boop 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 auto punchy in a door number or door lock thingies work. That isn't what it's called at all, Nathan. No, it's really not. But. It's what I could come up with at the the current time. Okay, wait till you see this. This is just as nice as it gets. That's all there is to say about it. Absolutely beautiful. This car's been maintained, taken care of. It's got, there's a little rip in the foil there. It's got just signs of somebody taking care of it. Um, what do I mean by that? I mean, sometimes you'll see a car and it'll just have oil puked all over the whole long bottom of the car and everything. And it's obvious they had a little leak. They didn't do nothing about it. And it got to be a big leak. Well, big leak chew. That's not what it is. It's big leak chew. But that kind of thing isn't prevalent or happening or has happened on this car. Look at this. Stinking clean! And what do I do to clean these? I clean them up, and then I drive them around for 100, 200, 300 miles, and I see if I see any leaks or anything anywhere. And on this one, I didn't see any kind of anything like that. Um, it, it's just running good, good as can be. This car is beautiful. Everything about this car is nice as can be. Um, I showed a couple dings and small scuffs and stuff. Look at even the hood insulation liner. Just as nice as it gets. And I'm hoping my low-level light adjustment shows just how nice that is. Hood. And that's one thing on these, you gotta get it just right. And that's that. Absolutely beautiful! Well, that's the Lincoln Town Car. 
and if you're looking for a square body you're going to be hard pressed to find anywhere anywhere anything anywhere near as clean as this that's all there is to say about it check out my website one owner car guy subscribe here on youtube just click the subscribe button and i'm here to tell you i got some clean nice original old 90s sedans and such i sell a lot of them my other website hipstercars.com and if you've heard the dog barking in the back that's breeder my puppy and you can check out my miniature beagles at beaglespocket.com signature series yeah buddy thanks for watching one owner car guy com. I'm going to do a test drive next. At the end of this video, there will be a link to the exterior review and to that test drive video. Yes, I could not think of what it was at that moment, but now I have. Thanks for watching. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. We'll talk to you.